happy March. I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I actually am going to film two videos. So I'm gonna be filming this video and then I'm going to be filming another video while, um, just so I can like prepare and stuff. Then I need to do some research to figure out like different videos that I need to be posting and all of that good jazz, you know? So that is kind of what I'm gonna be doing today. But first, gotta go to the gym and then work on editing my video to get it up today or tomorrow, I guess. What's today? Thursday? No, I want it to go up today. Okay, I, can't. I gotta think here. So that is what we are doing. I'm gonna go finish getting dressed for the gym and then I'm gonna be drinking this. I have to go feed my chickens and my cats and then we are going to head to the gym. I'm getting ready for the gym and I just realized that I needed to charge my headphones and I did not do that yesterday. Listen, have you tried working out without headphones? I'm not interested in it. I guess if I had somebody there with me, like that I was talking to while I would like a workout partner or whatever, I would be better, but not interested. Like my backup headphones are dead and everything, so. Hello. I'll just leave that open. Hi, Floof. Hi, Floof. Goes in here. We are charging. All right, we are gonna go. Okay. Start my car and feed my chickens. not had a chance to make my bed yet and I threw my clothes down to get my shirt that I'm wearing for the gym and <laughs> why look at him over there making biscuits oh and of course I can't move them they're so sweet so I guess this will get done later later on in life all right, we are finally headed out the door.
finished up at the gym. I did like, okay, so as you've seen, I did my stair stepper and then I did some cardio on the uh, treadmill. When I do cardio, I do like a 12 incline and then I will bring it down just kind of depending on like what I want. So sometimes I'll do eight, sometimes I'll bring it down to a six and I just like go up and down with it. It just, it literally depends on what I feel like doing for the day. Whew, hot in here. Turn that guy off. But then I did just like a couple of leg exercises. So I think I did four different leg exercises and I did three sets of each. Um, just working like my glutes. And then I am gonna go home and get showered and start work. Um, actually, I'll start work for a little bit and then I'll probably have to get something to eat. But I do think I want to have, as like a little snacky snack, some kind of smoothie or something. We'll see, we'll see what I come up with. I don't have any ice. I have no room in my freezer right now because my fridge and my freezer are so small, which you've seen if, you know, if you've been around for a little bit, you've seen my fridge and freezer, they're small. So I am out of room in my freezer right now and I cannot make ice and I do not have an ice maker. We need a new fridge, something fierce, but we have what we have and it is what it is. And I'm grateful to have what we have because the fridge that was in there when we bought the house was not the original fridge that should have been in there and it was awful. The people who like lived in the house before we did were renters and they just were not good to their, the, the house at all. I'm not over exaggerating when I tell you literally the whole entire neighborhood has thanked us for taking care of our, our yard. Ryan mowed, we didn't even do anything to it. We hadn't added any trees, flowers, nothing and all we did was mow and the people were like this looks so good thank you so much for taking care of it and i all i think is all we did was mow that's it so apparently the weeds would get thick anywho i am going to get headed to the house i want to sit down with you guys today and talk about motivation how to continue on when you feel like you have no motivation and I want to start by telling you motivation is a feeling and our feelings are, they come and they go, they fade away. There's not one feeling that you've had that hasn't faded away at one point or another. So it's not going to stick around the motivation. Okay. So don't expect it to. What you can expect is for it to come for just a short amount of time and then to go away. But we're going to talk about it more here in a few. So I'll see you at the house. Remember how I said I was gonna come home and make like a smoothie? I don't know, hold on, I gotta, I want my hair out of my face, but then I'm like, I don't like how it looks if it's not up in a full on ponytail. Okay, remember how I said I was gonna make a smoothie kind of drink thing? I'm not, I'm hungry, I want food, real food. And so that's what we're gonna do. Pretty much gonna have the same thing that I had for breakfast, but I'm going to add a burger, not a burger. I'm going to add bread. The hardest thing about working from home and taking your job seriously is you have to ignore the fact that your house is a disaster because if you had a real job, I hate that term. <laughs> if you had a job that you traveled to, okay, you worked at some other place in your town, you wouldn't have the opportunity to come home or to be home and doing your dishes and doing your laundry and doing these things. Like you would have no choice but to work. And so that is the hardest thing is to actually separate those two, especially for me because I've been a stay at home mom for the last six years. And now I have to actually take it serious and ignore my disaster of a kitchen until tonight. Okay, we are, I'm gonna back up. Oh, just here. I wish I had like a prettier background for you to make this more aesthetically pleasing, but I just don't. That's just, that's just not something I have at the moment. It'll come. Okay, let's get into the good stuff, the content that you came here for. So motivation, I get asked all the time how I am always motivated to go to the gym. Like, what to do when there's no willpower, how do I, you know, 
just so many people are always asking like, how do you stay so motivated? And I don't, the, the motivation comes and it goes. So set your expectations to meet that. Understand that you're not always going to be motivated to go to the gym and have a plan in place for when you don't feel motivated. So the best way to continue going to the gym when you like want to start the new habit of going to the gym, you are on a health journey, is to have a plan. That way you know what you're going to be doing, you know when you're going to make it to the gym. So maybe you are a early morning type of gal and you want to get to the gym first thing in the morning or maybe you like to do it on your lunch break or after work. Set the intention for the day that this is what you're going to be doing and know the workout that you're going to be doing. That way when you get to the gym, you're not in there wondering what the heck you're gonna do today, what you're gonna work on today, just going to the treadmill, which don't get me wrong, just walking is wonderful. That is phenomenal that you are getting up, you are going for a walk, even if it's on a treadmill, I don't care, you're moving your body, but you don't wanna be headed to the gym and on the verge of talking yourself out of it because you don't have a plan in place. So make sure that you have a plan so you know exactly what you're doing as soon as you get there. When you get to the gym and you feel like, I don't wanna be here, I just, like, I'm just not in it, find some kind of music that hypes you up. like get you excited, get you going. Like you have this one song that just, it plays and you're like, I am ready to take on the day. I am ready to do the dang thing. Especially if you are like tired and it's been a long day and the only time you can do it maybe is after work or during your lunch break and you're just like, I need something to get me going. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> so find that song that just really hypes you up and gets you excited. I don't care if you need to play that song three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I don't care. Do what you need to do to get yourself feeling good. I personally love pre-workout. Like pre-workout is I have a routine and a habit. And my routine, that is also a habit. I just don't have to think about it. It's almost like second nature for me at this point is I start my pre-workout. So I have a specific time where I like to start my pre-workout. And when I get my pre-workout in, I know I'm going. Like there's no questions asked. I know that I'm going. So maybe for you, it's you get your shoes on. Like all you need to do is get your shoes on. Maybe all you need to do is just get out the door. The hardest part is literally getting to the gym. It's getting to the gym, getting inside and, and like walking into where the weights or the treadmills or like whatever it is that you wanna do, walking into it and actually doing it. Like once you start, you're like, oh, I'm here, like let's just do this thing. But getting there is the hardest because we just, Satan gets in our head. He just gets in our head and he makes us feel this big and he makes us feel like we're not worthy. We're not deserving. Everybody's going to be staring at us. You know, when you like walk through the doors or whatever of, I don't know, class, church, anything, and like everybody <sighs> turns and looks at you, we feel like that's what people are going to be doing and they're not. They're not. Sometimes I do look at people as they're walking in or leaving or whatever, but it's simply because you know when something like passes through your vision and you're like, oh, okay. So you just do like a quick, quick glance. That might happen, but nine times out of 10, people are in their zone, they've got their headphones in, they're doing their dang thing. And I'm going to tell you right now, the influencers, the most fit person, it doesn't matter who it is, the least fit, the most fit, the influencer, the like, I, I don't care who it is. They are never happy with how they look either. And sure, you might be like, I'm happy with how I look, like, and, and you're doing the body positivity thing, okay. But there's always something in somebody's mind where they want it to be better or to look different. And so understand that that's probably never gonna go away. Um, I still, to this day, some people don't necessarily feel this way, but some people probably do. 
I can tell you from experience, still to this day, I have been going to the gym for five, six years, six years. Still to this day, if I especially walk into a new gym or a crowded gym, I'm uncomfortable. I don't wanna be there. I'm ready to talk myself out of going, still to this day. So you're not alone. And sometimes it might never go away. You might be that person who that feeling just never goes away, but you deserve this. You deserve to work on yourself. You deserve to be there. You deserve to take up space. Take up more space. You deserve this. So get there, just get there. That's like the best advice I can give, give you is just get there. So I'm sitting here editing this video and I had another thought um, that helps me stay motivated or helps me continue going when I'm not motivated at all. to just commit to like 10 minutes of something because nine times out of 10, when you've committed and you've started walking for, you know, five minutes, you've started doing your leg day for five minutes, you, your Pilates, whatever it is for five minutes, you're going to more than likely really be enjoying it. And it's not going to be as bad as you like worked it up to be in your head. You know what I'm talking about? And so you're going to want to stay longer and either finish your complete workout or just keep going for the day. So commit to 10 minutes. A couple of things that I really like to do to help my motivation when I'm not feeling motivated like at all is um, I like to find my favorite influencer. For me, it's Whitney Simmons. I, do, I adore her. I love her. She's hilarious. She's relatable. She just makes you feel really good about going to the gym. And so I just kind of watch her page for a little bit and allow her to let me laugh. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Like I want to go now. Or I will wear a really cute outfit. I had, it's the most ridiculous thing. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. For me, <laughs> it was important though. So I have two different pairs of gym shoes. You know what? Let me go get them for you. I'm going to go get them for you so you can see. Hold, please. Okay. We're back. I have two pairs of gym shoes. These are my original gym shoes. Actually, my original gym shoes are, were, I have no idea where they are, but they were all white and I, they're missing now. I'm not sure where they went. I bought these not too, I don't know. Why was I about to say not too long ago? I bought these ones four years ago, I wanna say four or five years ago. I love my Adidas shoes. I love that they're maroon. I love how light they are. I love everything about these shoes, except for the fact that maroon doesn't go with every single outfit, straight up. <laughs> if my shoes did not match my outfit, I felt silly and I was so unmotivated to work out at all. My mom bought me these next shoes for Christmas last year. Still Adidas, okay? Still lightweight, still pretty much the same shoe, but white. These are white. These babies have never seen the outside ground and I love them. They are dirty though because our gym floor is black. But I switched to white shoes because I felt more confident and more cute, I guess you could say in my outfits when my shoes matched my outfit or at least went better with them. I have red pants, bright red leggings that I usually wear a black shirt with and I cannot be wearing maroon shoes with that outfit. I feel silly. I would rather have black shoes, but white, she'll do. She'll do. So wear something that you feel cute in, that you feel good in, and go to the gym because I am way more motivated when I feel cute and excited and ready to go. And if for you that looks like doing your makeup, then do your makeup. I've done my makeup to go to the gym before. That's something that I enjoy. That's something that I like. It makes me feel good and I do better. When I feel good, when I feel cute, when I feel confident, I have a much better workout, okay? So do things that make you feel good and make you feel cute and you'll probably most likely be there. Now, if you are unmotivated because you're afraid to go, then just do a dumbbell only workout. Go find a little corner 
where you can do it by yourself, put like a hoodie over your booty if you are feeling scared to like be in the gym with just leggings. But I assure you, nobody's watching you, okay? Nobody's watching you. They're probably applauding you for going to the gym. So go to your corner, do your own little thing, and just enjoy yourself. Get a good pair of headphones, shut the world out, and just enjoy yourself by yourself. So yeah, just set your expectations to understand that you're not always going to be motivated, but enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. So often we are so concerned with getting to the end of the rainbow because we think that there's gonna be this pot of gold there, but it's really not there. The pot of gold is the rainbow. Enjoy the process. And if you're not enjoying the process, then switch it up. Maybe you are not somebody who enjoys going to the gym and lifting weights. Maybe you're somebody who would enjoy Pilates or a spin class or yoga or kickboxing. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Start looking around. Start trying new things. Get outside. Do a Zumba class. Do anything. It doesn't matter. Try different things if you're feeling unmotivated and see if your soul is somewhere else. Maybe you'll find that you fall deeply in love with walking and suddenly you're wanting to go every single day because it just, it's your time. If you're feeling unmotivated to get up and go to the gym every single day, it just might be time for you to look into something else. It doesn't have to be this crazy gym schedule. It can be real simple things. You just have to love what you're doing. Okay, friends, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you got so much good out of this. I would love to know what your favorite little golden nugget was. What really like, I don't know, maybe turned the light bulb on for you was like your aha moment. I would love to know. If you are new here and you haven't yet, I would love to have you subscribe. I would love it if you let me know if you liked this video by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. I love you. Until next time, I will see you next time.